Now that our road is built, the focus turns back to the rest of the farm. Yo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Pennsylvania here in Farm Sim 19. Welcome back. This is episode number 20. I don't think I've done 20 episodes of any Let's Play in Farm Sim 19, but uh, well, we did one, didn't we? We got it done. Also, I need to scoot past you here, bud. Sorry. So if you watched our last Let's Play here uh, just a couple days ago, well, we built this new road, actually quite a big road that goes through our shop right over there over to the pig farm. Now, here's the dealio over here. I don't do pigs in seasons. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Oh yeah, I forgot to still have that. We have straps? We do. Ha 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 ha. We'll get that sold today. Um, so yeah, just don't do uh, pigs. So we're going to sell the pig farm. Yep. Uh, but not how you would think. I'm actually going to sell while well, I'm doing all of this right now. What? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> Lord. Uh, we are going to sell the big farm right through here because we're not going to use this. I have no use for this whatsoever. I don't need it. I don't want it. I got, I got nothing. But one nice thing is we've got quite a bit of area around. So we still own most of this. Cool. Fine. Good. But we're going to sell this. I think we're going to get cows, something like that. We may end up selling this area down here as well. But we need to go ahead and do that now. So pig husbandry, well, it's going, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now we need to find something else. Let's do a, uh, let's just a little search for Lone Oak. So we've got all these buildings, barns, et cetera, et cetera. What we want is cow husbandry. So let's start with here. Let's see, husbandry with manure pit. We could do that, even though we're not going to do any manure pit stuff. That makes any sense to you? Uh, let's see. How and where would this work? Good. Um, maybe around through here. Definitely the back area is going to be a little bit messed up. So that's not a terrible spot for it. You can also do a free range option, but that does take up a lot of space. And the cows just in general <laughs> don't seem to have the best time so there's a lot of different things that we could go through here you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go through see if i can find something and then we'll pop back in and we'll see the lone oak of course uh we'll pop back in see if i can find any cow pastures that work well for this area all right we know exactly what we're gonna do so we're going to go and use one of the lone oak cow pastures i think we're gonna use the second one third one this one this one right here one with manure, because you never know well, when I'm going to turn off season. So we've got to be prepared for that. So we're going to take this and I'm actually going to put it back into the back just a little bit. You can see over to the left hand side. Well, a bit of a problem there because the uh, slurry is kind of like against the wall over there. Don't worry. That's actually going to be just fine for us. So looks like everything's cool. Let's place it down. Uh, that did take a bit of our money. Just a few. Yep. <laughs> we only got 34 grand left. So uh, we will have to kind of get in here and figure the cow situation out. We're not going to buy any yet. I just wanted to go ahead and get this area done. And I think we need some of these trees to get away, don't we? Yeah. Hide the tree. Goodbye. Hide the tree. Goodbye. One more little booger right here. <laughs> Goodbye. And then now all we got to do is just kind of like smooth that area out and paint on top of it. And that's kind of it. That's literally it. Uh, this area is really, really nice to work with. It's super, super easy to manage everything as well. Oop, forgot this area is a little bit squared off. So let's just go through here. We'll kind of, we're trying to leave as much of that dirt as we can. Uh, I do like the way that dirt looks. We're gonna have to change up the grass just a little bit. We'll paint over through that and it'll be okay. But I think for now, this should, be just fine. Now, another thing we're gonna have to do is prepare some cow food. Now, I said that at the beginning of the video, you're probably like, well, duh, if you're planning on doing cows again, yeah, of course you're gonna need to do that. Well, it's a little bit more different than that. See, what we've gotta do is fast forward some time because we are literally just hanging out with nothing, I mean, nothing going on. So what I'm gonna do, well, that's not quite what I wanted to do, is it? 
Yeah, it'll be fine. Whatever. Uh, what I want to do is I want to fast forward time. We're fine. We've got everything we need. All I need now is to go through and actually get some crops to harvest because I'm a little bit bored. So we've been on the same day at the same time for who knows how long. So you know what? I think it's time that we, well, fast forward the time. Let's make it happen. First things first, we need to make sure we're ready to go for the cows. We're going to have like a two to three day run. So we need to make sure that the cows are good and ready to go. So the first thing is going to be TMR. I probably have some TMR on me, but we, you know, never hurts to have more, right? I love it. This is, I had a couple of guys asking about this. This is a modified version I did. I think it holds a million liters, something like that. Um, it's really cool. I love it. it. Makes things very, very easy for me. This is either going to hold 50,000 or 500,000. <laughs> I think 500,000 is the the dealio there. We'll probably put about 150, maybe. That should be more than enough for this area. More, way more than enough, to be completely honest with you. This should be fine. We'll go ahead and put this about right there. Stop them off while we're here. Why not? And drop it. Now, speaking of dropping it, uh, where can we put this? In here somewhere? Sure, why not? We'll put this right there. That'll be fine. We need to take this all the way over to the sheep farm because this is going to make sure that everything's good to go over there. Speaking of the sheep farm, I think it may be about time to go ahead and buy, buy a tractor for that farm or repurpose this tractor for that farm because I use all of these tractors. You know, this is our quote unquote uh, small to mid size with a T6. We have a T7 over here, right there. That's kind of our uh, mid range tractor. And then we have a T8 around here somewhere, which of course are large. And then we have the smaller Massey as well. I love it. I think they're great, um, but it would be nice to have a tractor on the other farm that's built and made for that area. You think that's going to be a good idea. Maybe a T5. I think a T5 would be great. Get a smaller tipper, something like that. Be awesome. Absolutely awesome. The field looks like it really wants somebody to harvest it right now. What is that field 27? I wonder if there's a contract out there. Now, no more contracts. I'm trying really hard because we kind of turned this into contract simulator. It got really boring, didn't it? I'm not about that. I'm not going to turn this back into contract simulator uh, i do have some other ideas for maybe another little mini series i know i said we were going to do some like realistic stuff on lone oak i don't know if it'll ever happen i made the decision to do that series whenever i or before i was buying my home and that really didn't turn out very well i'm buying the home and i need a tipper where's a tipper of course there's no tipper on this area maybe it's on the farm itself uh so i made that decision before we actually started buying the house now i'm actually recording this less than 48 hours before buying the home which is crazy and you guys are going to be watching this video the day i'm moving in so if you guys are watching right now hey drop some uh, some best wishes down in there because it ain't gonna be fun at all hey there's the tipper we need so this is this the one we need This is on the wrong farm. Ugh, great. Uh, JK, it is actually on the right farm. <laughs> I'm at the wrong spot. Here's where we need to be. This is the tipper that we're using right here. So we're gonna load this up with grass. All of our sheep, of course, they need to have grass. That we are about to do, if you're curious, like, why are you doing this? We are about to literally fast forward time through two to three days and i need to make sure that all of the animals have all of the food that they could possibly need that includes having the uh the yep <laughs> having grass for the the sheep oh yeah having grass for the sheep and then having tmr for the cows and of course gotta have a little bit of grain for the chickens as well and that should be all of our animals i don't do pigs in season so it's just not my thing let's find us some grass there we go got about a half a million liters should be fine one thing we need to make sure we do as well is close the cover while we're fast forwarding time. If we don't do that, we run the risk of losing it. Yes, you can lose crop from a tipper in seasons. It, it'll it it'll disappear. Hay eventually will disappear as well. Oh, that's not gonna be fun. 
whatever. Yeah, not fun. Eh, fine. Why? Come on, man. Swing it too wide, bro. Bigger than you are. Get out of here. So we'll do this, and then we'll get the... <laughs> Goodness gracious. Of course. This is craziness, baby. I love crazy. And the last key to all this is just making sure that we get enough slurry. So in here right now, there's none. However, we do have 140,000 liters. That was from a day or two, so it's been decent to say the least. And um, and now all we do is fast forward time. We're gonna double check and make sure our time is 2,000. Yep, 2,000 looks good. We don't wanna go much higher than that or else you run the risk of, uh, well, having problems. We're also gonna save the game before we do anything and one thing, we're just going to double check, make sure uh, that cell times are not popping up for anything. Let's see. I believe, was it wheat, barley, and oats? That's going to be on winter one. So we have multiple opportunities to do that. Let's see. Soybeans was today. Did I sell soybeans? And corn? <laughs> uh, did I sell soybeans and corn today? I must have because I have zero of any of them. All right. So let's do it. Let's get that time rocking. That is good. We need to find this guy right there. Turn our light on because it is about to get dark. Ooh, it is glitching too. All right. Water's running. We're good there. All's good. Yep. And uh, honestly, we could probably... Ooh, great demand in animal stockyard. But what? Oh, of course, soybeans. Naturally. All right. Let's go ahead and slow time down. And I forgot. Why is the sleep trigger behind the house? It ain't got to be like that. I don't understand, man. What time is it? 2200. So it's like 10 o'clock. So I think like 10 hours probably should be fine. There we go. Looking good. You don't want to go too far. You may run into some problems with, well, anything. Problems are problems all the way around. All right. First things first. Sorry, we got 59,000 liters overnight. We'll go ahead and make sure that's refilling back up. Chickens getting theirs. All the animals get their food for the morning. Let's take a look at those animals. So looks like the cows are running real low on water. Uh, TMR is stacked up. Let's see. We're getting food and water for these guys. And we're getting food for those. Okay, cool. So we're running good. Everything's looking good. We do have eggs. Uh, see, we got about another 31,000 liters of slurry left. And that looks to be it. We do have wool over here. What's the best time to sell wool? Does anybody know? Let's check that out and see. Looks like spring one, possibly. Yeah, it looks like about spring or spring one or spring three, actually. That's going to be the time. Great demand a transport company. What are we selling a transport company? Let's see. Let's find out. Anything good? Come on, be something good. Don't have cheese. All right, so that is through the first day. Let's go around, double check, and just make sure that our grass is growing. And it is, but we can't do anything with this now. So we do a little bit more fast forwarding. All right, we are now in early autumn. So we've gone through uh, quite a few days. I think we had uh, two days now, I think. Two days, three days. It was just the one, not really sure. Um, but we got a job to do about past that job right here. We have got some mowing to do, and I have quickly realized that I want the next tractor that I buy to have like duels all the way around and, and be about the same size as this New Holland, maybe a little bit bigger, possibly the size of like a full size T7. Actually, you know what? What does that one name cost? T7. Like a, this size. This is the size I want right here. Just a, like a, a good, let's see. The full power will set up like a narrow twin all the way around kind of thing. Is that even a real bro? Yo, what about okay? So this is this is this a Trellebor. See, we actually run Michelin tires, or do we run Trellebors? Do we have like a multi rim kind of thing going on here? Not really. So it doesn't look like and even in Midas tires, you wouldn't find anything like that in there anyway. Okay, so the T7 options that we have are quite limited in what we have. Challenger, however, is something that I had not thought about. So with Challenger, we have a, quite a few of these things, including this right here, 
Which I think we could do like a twin Rokra. Yeah. And use use this as like a mowing setup. Man, that'd be cool. That would look awesome. Maybe something like that. I mean, it would have to be New Holland, to be fair. It would need to be New Holland. Oh, what am I doing? My grass fields are over here. Uh, but I think it would be cool, right? Yeah, that would be pretty, pretty sweet. Okay, so here's what we got to do. We've actually got quite a bit to do because we got to mow all these fields. I love mowing. Mowing isn't exactly something that's exciting to watch on screen, so uh, generally I try not to force you guys to have to watch this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get quite a bit of mowing done. And then we're gonna jump back in together whenever it's all done. If you are curious what we've got to do, I got 46, 45, 44, and 24 to do. All grass fields, we'll find out. I mean, there's nothing really that needs to be done. We just gotta get all of this mode and all of it picked up. So, let's, uh, <laughs> let's set the speed limit to as fast as it'll go and rock and roll. Moen is done, as you can see. And boy, oh boy, does it look good. Look how good of a job I did on this one. Yeah. So you got your two headlands and then you got just straight lines up and down, up and down, up and down. You see, we actually have a little bit of hay down on there in the ground from where we last left off. So all good there, a little bit jerky, not crazy excited about that. Let's go ahead and drop down to the ground and find our tractor. There it is. Let's go ahead and start her up, get it open, drop down, turn it on, and get to moving. So we've already done one of the fields. So I've already got 137,000 liters up. However, well, we're gonna get a whole lot more. We're already up to 150. <laughs> hey, 156, you get what I'm saying. We're gonna pick this up pretty darn quick. And also, I think I decided during all that, because it took about 25 to 30 minutes to mow all four of our fields uh, and collect one of them, I may add. Um, I think I've decided I'm gonna invest in a self-propelled mower for, for next year. Uh, though it's fun and though I have such, such a great time, I mean, just an amazingly great time. I, I don't wanna do it anymore. <laughs> so we're gonna get ourselves a self-propelled mower, probably the Krona or something like that. I it works fine and it's a good uh, it's a good mod and there's really not a whole lot of um other self-propelled more actually you know what i believe our good friend richard dower has just done one he's working on an update as we speak so what i need to do is i need to go and download his richard dower he's got the chrome uh was the big uh, big m500 something like that i don't know why we never got that in farming simulator set or 19 we had it in 17. beautiful beautiful mod but uh, he has made one for PC, so that's what we'll do. We'll go download that, and we will use that. And I think we're going to be just fine. We'll have plenty to do there. So what do we have to do for the rest of today? I need to go through, and we need to uh, fertilize these fields. That'll be very easy to do. And uh, and then I think that's about it. <laughs> Come through, fertilize the fields. And uh, we could probably do a little bit of this, a little bit of that as well, but I'm not gonna try and push too hard. Maybe we'll sell some slurry, something like that. Does that sound good to you guys? All right, let's go ahead and pick all this up. Let's see how much we get. All right, so we've got everything picked up. We were able to take the grass that we got. It was over 800,000 liters. Uh, we mixed that with some grass that we had gotten from last cut, and now we've got a million liters of hay. Perfect, <laughs> let's go ahead and Park this bad boy up right here. Nice. Love it. Go and get that lowered down. So now, what do we need? Well, we need fertilizer, which is great, but I think what we need to do is, actually, you know what? Fertilizer is probably like the thing that we need to do real quick. Where is, don't I have one that's like, yeah, here it is. Well, it's got lime in it. We don't need that. We could definitely go for some fertilizer, though. See how easy that was? Gotta love it. I'm just gonna throw some fertilizer down, and then we are good to go. We're gonna fast forward time through almost the end of the day. Oh, don't hit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of the slurry that we have collected uh, over the entire, well, basically, 
summer. And we're going to take all of that and plop it down right for selling. Oh, yes. We're going to sell all the slurry, as you guys know. I do not keep slurry. I do not keep digestate. Um, I just use normal fertilizer, and it works just fine for me. Uh, and I have zero issues whatsoever with it. Plus, I get to use this sulky right here, which has got like a 30, 50 meter spread. Sorry. Now, there are options for those of you guys on console that want larger spreads. There is a, uh, a pack, I can't remember what it's called, the Euro Spam Pack from Black Eyes Official Modding. Um, what am I doing? Do I have a automatic? Okay, I was about to say. Do I have automatic fertilizer application right there, Donald? I do. Thank goodness. Another thing's going to have to be done is these fields need lime on them. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do automatic application rate of lime as soon as we do our next cut. So right before we go into the new year, we're going to have to do that. We're still in year number two. Yes, we're episode 20, but we're still in year number two. We've got a lot still to go. We're only halfway through year number two. There's tons it tons it tons to do and i love it because well it's contract simulator isn't it <laughs> just a little bit so our last thing today like i said we're gonna take all of our slurry over and we are gonna get it sold got a whole bunch in here doesn't sound like it's working now so yeah we're doing pretty good Two hundred and ninety-two thousand liters we're gonna go straight to the bga because the bga has everything that we need also stay tuned as we, I, well i say I think we are probably going to be swapping the semi trucks out, um, at least one of them, for the Phoenix. So very excited about that. Probably do that in the next episode, something like that. Uh, these semi trucks, they're not. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's awful. Uh, they're not cheap by any means. And uh, yeah, go ahead, do your thing. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I do like them though. They've got a lot of pull, a lot of power and the uh the design of these things is very very good i really like them but all things must come to an end of course so we'll be swapping out some stuff for a2 studio stuff we may keep the uh was that my turn that was definitely my turn let's let's go back um we're going to swap some stuff out for tlx's and things like that and um you know take some of david's stuff we're getting not near the end of Farm Sim 19, um, but Farming Simulator 19 is definitely not growing as fast as it did. So I still want to continue this series, even though it's just going to be a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna own half of the map by the time we're all said and done, which I'm excited about. Don't you want to own the whole map? Yeah, I want to own the whole map. So we're going to be just working hard every day, trying to do as much as we can to... Uh, make a or have a really really cool gameplay setup where we can have a bunch of really neat equipment stuff wherever we want do whatever we want and uh and still play in seasons and have a good time that's the game plan all right let me show you my tips and tricks for doing slurry here on bucks county so we're gonna come over here we are going to sell the slurry should get the trigger for it. There it is. This shouldn't. Well, this may take a little bit longer than I thought. So we'll just kind of let this overload straight into here. Um, time is looking good. However, probably wouldn't hurt to run this maybe times five, time, even times 15 is probably going to be okay. I'm just, oh, Ripty. Oh. Okay. Now we're going to go over here to the slurry. Now the slurry takes, uh, it's high. It's a very, very high rate and it makes it pretty quick. So let's see, we got 87,000 in there. We'll let that 87,000 run through. There we go. And there's no more. So it doesn't look like it's making any more. Then we'll take this digest eight. We could keep it, but I ain't gonna. And we're just going to sell it right here. Yep. Edge grain vault. I think it's the only place you can sell digestate here anyway. So we get that sold, make a couple extra thousand bucks, and we're happy. $8,700. And how much is Slurry selling for at the BGA? $300 per thousand liters? Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Actually, how much is that going to make us? We could just, you know, we could just stop this right here. How much money are we going to make at midnight? 
Give me big money. Come on. Big money. 2100, 2200. Can I hear 23, 23, 24, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. 87,000. Not bad. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. And join the GoHand fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be done. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.